At this point, your project should look a little something like this. We worked the cuff and then our turning rounds, which gives our cuff a nice place to fold over. We then worked the body of the stocking, followed by the short row heel, and then continued on to work the foot of our stocking. I still have my five stitch markers plus my beginning of round marker right here. We're ready to work the toe and we're going to need our cable hook as well as our project. The first round tends to look a little intimidating, but that's why I have this video to demonstrate how to do it step by step. The pattern starts with purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, slip marker, and then purl one. The pattern goes on to read, slip the next four stitches onto your cable needle. If you're using a cable hook like me, make sure to always slip onto the short side of your cable hook. And hold those stitches in front. The pattern goes on to read, knit one stitch from your cable needle together with one stitch from the working needle. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to slip those stitches to the long end of my cable hook and hold it parallel with my working needle. And I'm going to bring my yarn in back because we will be knitting. And then I'm going to stab the first stitch on my cable needle and then stab the first stitch on my working needle. Wrap my yarn just the same as if I was knitting and then draw through both. First my working needle and then my cable needle and then remove both of those stitches. I'm going to repeat this three more times. On this very last one, take extra care to hold onto your cable needle because it tends to want to be very slippery and slip away. Remove both of those stitches. At the end, I should have no more stitches left on my cable needle and I should have one stitch on my working needle left before my marker. The pattern continues to read purl one, slip marker, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. At this point, you should be at your halfway marker and we're going to repeat this exact same thing for the back side of our stocking. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me.